Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bess and Into the Tarot. And in this week's reading, I'm taking a look at Pisces Love Life for the week of October 2020. If you're new to this channel, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you feel like you resonate with the message and you want to know more about the energy that surrounds your person and what's in your person's environment where I'll dig a little bit deeper, I'll also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also down in the description box below where you'll also find info on how to book a personal reading with me. And if you have any issues checking out on my website, just email me at bassandintuitivetarot at gmail.com and we can book through there. My website's been acting kind of wonky lately and I don't know what's going on, but that's it. And speaking of personal readings, I'm running a contest with my sister to give out a free personal reading. A little backstory: before I was born, my mother used to do tarot professionally. So as kids, me and my sister were always surrounded by tarot. We absolutely love everything about it. The artwork, using our intuition, spirituality, you name it, we were into it. We would also do personal readings on each other to give each other advice growing up. Um, she even predicted a long-term partner who was down to his zodiac sign and characteristics pretty on point with what she said. She's a Scorpio, very intuitive. Well, she's kind of camera shy and likes to do her readings one-on-one, face-to-face -on -one, -face with people, but I finally got her to get out of her comfort zone and do her own channel on YouTube. Even though she's a little bit you know, anxious with social media, she's doing it, so I'm proud of her. If you would awesomely go over there and give her the same love and support you've shown me, we would be so grateful. And in return, we're going to be giving away one free personal reading to a subscriber she chooses on her birthday on November 14th. I'll be the one doing the reading. A 30 minute full in-depth reading all right so all you need to do to apply is to click on the link down below that's going to take you to her most recent Pisces reading underneath her Pisces video put in the hashtag bass and intuitive tarot with two D's and then click her subscribe button that's it those two steps and you're in the drawing and she'll announce the winner on her channel on November 14th all right what do we have for Pisces what is Pisces person's current feelings towards Pisces Pisces person's current thoughts towards Pisces and the actions that they want to take towards you followed by advice from spirit for Pisces a couple more shuffles and we are good let's rock this deck Pisces person their current feelings towards you their current thoughts on you the actions that they would like to take towards you advice from spirit for you moving forward and the overall energy on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an earth energy Taurus Virgo or Capricorn the six of Pentacles is their overall energy you guys this is great. So if you felt like this person wasn't doing anything to keep this connection afloat or to move it in the right trajectory, this person's wanting to give back. Okay, because the Six of Pentacles is my energy of giving what you've been receiving. It's equal reciprocity, exchanging an equal amount of energy. You do for me, I do for you. So if you've been texting this person six days a week, this person's gonna also text you six days in a week in return. So this person wants to be generous towards you, okay? Their current feelings towards you? Oh, damn. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. Their current feelings for you is hot damn. They are attracted to you. They find you breathtaking. They find you, mm. They might also see that you might be a little bit energetic for, for them, which is kind of exciting. Because you may be dealing with an earth energy that is very slow moving, likes to stay grounded. And they might be viewing you as someone that's very hyper and all over the place, kind of like a Leo. Wink, wink. <laughs> if you don't know already, I'm a Leo. This person definitely has a lot of attraction for you. When you walk in a room, it's like you light it up. You may also have fire in your chart somewhere. All right? Don't focus on the gender. This could be a guy or girl I'm speaking to. This person has the hots for you. And that's how they're feeling. And their current thoughts on the situation, Pisces? The King of Pentacles. Taurus Energy. They want stability. They want that happy home life with the, the, the husband of the Zodiac and the wife of the Zodiac having the ten pentacles and the pick a white fence and the family, the dog, the cat. All right? And that annoying neighbor that always shows up. This is, this is their thoughts on the situation. I want a stable life with Pisces. This could also represent that this person might be focusing a lot on their business right now. So they might be hard to get a hold of leading up to this point where they're always throwing themselves into their work, trying to get promotions or build their own business. But now with the Six of Pentacles as their overall energy, this might signify that, yes, they have been considering keeping their business on their mind, but 
they might be coming towards you and trying to balance the scales because they may have been focusing too much on their work and they're ready to be balanced out, okay? And then under that is the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely a work energy here. So you could have also met this person at work. But with the Eight of Pentacles being under the Six of Pentacles, that is screaming, I want to make a dedicated effort now and I'm going to give you the same energy you've given me in return, okay? However, this person's still going to want you to understand that their work is very important to them. So you definitely could be connecting to someone you've already met at work or someone who has a very strong work ethic. They take their job very seriously, they take their stability very seriously, and they are slow at getting into commitments because once they get into a relationship, they know that they don't want to get out of it. Usually earth signs, if you're dealing with an earth sign, it doesn't have to be, but they're coming up with earth energy, heavy and predominant. Usually with earth signs, they, they don't like to be in a bunch of different relationships. Many earth signs I've met would tell you that they've only been with a handful of people in solid exclusive relationships. I'm not talking about sex or anything like that. I'm talking about exclusive committed relationships. Most earth signs or people who have predominant earth in their chart will tell you I've only had maybe five or six long-term partners in my entire life. Okay? Because they don't like to get in and out of commitments. They don't like to be vulnerable to just anybody. They like to take their time because once they get into a solid relationship, they don't want to get out of it because they want that stability. They're big on stability. They don't want hot and cold, you know, in and out people. They want someone that they can rely on and know that will, that person will be in their life in three years, five years, ten years. They want the same person, all right? Because of this, there might be an energy where you may feel, you know, anxious with the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy because you don't feel like you know where this is going with this person, all right? Or this could be your person overanalyzing the situation a little bit too much, but with their overall energy being the Six of Pentacles, it sounds like they're getting out of that energy finally and taking this connection a little bit more further, all right? This is the previous energy. So there is an energy that is returning to you. This is a soulmate. Six of Cups, your energy, but also Cancer and Scorpio. There is a soulmate that is surrounding you that wants to get things going. They want to bring balance to the situation because now I'm getting another six. Sixes are all about balance. All right? The Six of Cups to me is someone from your past life. I mean many past lives. You've known this person before. So when you've met this person, Pisces, they instantly felt familiar to you. And with you being the most intuitive of all the Zodiac signs, because you represent the High Priestess, you knew this person was something special the moment they said, hello. You knew it. It's like the moment you heard their voice, the moment you saw them, your, your souls recognized their soul. Okay? Because you are highly intuitive. Okay? Most of the Pisces that are on this uh, YouTube watching tarot readings are already intuitive as they are. You, most of you guys already started you know, practicing with your own tarot cards. Alright? You guys are very gifted. So this person is a soulmate and you already knew that. You knew that immediately and you thought to yourself, hmm, this person's who I've been calling in with a star, Aquarius energy. This is someone who I've been calling in. But there is an energy of this person possibly leaving you in the dark at times with the moon energy, Cancer Pisces. But whatever is hidden beneath the surface, Pisces, you know always comes up. This is your energy. You can't, no one can fool you. It's like you see right through this person. You're, even if someone feels like they're trying to be deceptive or sneaky or hold back their true feelings, you see right through them. You're like a friggin' uh, what's those, um, those uh, special powers where you can see through people like an x-ray. That's you, Pisces. It's like you knew that this person had feelings for you and you knew that they were holding back and you were just getting frustrated on when are you going to tell me how you feel? Alright? So you're definitely picking up on a soulmate energy, Pisces, okay? You know this person's special. So the actions that they want to take towards you? Justice, Libra energy. With justice being in their actions, that could tell me that this person wants to bring balance to the connection and they want to be fair, okay? I'm getting heavy balance being the main theme on your reading. So if you felt like something was unequal, uneven, or you felt like you were doing everything, this person doesn't want to keep that going. They want to bring justice. They want to be fair. There could also be a marriage involved in this situation, or this person is thinking long term because I am getting the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is my husband of the Zodiac, regardless if you're dealing with a guy or a girl. All right? Both genders can represent this. This person's thinking long term, or they, they are thinking fairness. 
And you could also be dealing with someone in law enforcement, military, or in some sort of judicial system, whether it's a correction officer or it's, um, you know, one of those, um, the hell am I thinking of? Uh, juvenile detention centers, uh, a social worker. It's definitely someone who actively reaches out towards the fairness in the world. All right. And your advice from spirit, Pisces, your advice is to wait for your ships to come in. You've already done all of you can do with the three of wands. You've already done everything that you could possibly do to get this connection off the ground. Now it's all up to you to just wait for your ships to come in. You've already did everything. It's up to this person now. They're the ones that need to step up and, you know, take this connection further. All right? You can only uh, motivate someone so much. Three of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So you could be dealing with a long distance relationship. This person could live at a distance from you and you're waiting for them to come towards you. Or there's a body of water that separates you guys. All right? And there could be an online relationship. But there is definitely an energy of... Pisces already has done everything that you could possibly do. It's, it's up to them now. It's up to them. You've already done all the legwork. And for them, viewing you as the Queen of Wands, that screams that you've done everything. Because when the Queen of Wands wants something, the Queen of Wands goes after it. Just like her counterpart, the King of Wands. Grass does not grow under the feet of these energies. So someone's already viewing you as being very energetic, the one that got everything off the ground. You were the one initiating uh, connections. You were initiating phone calls. You were initiating the dates. You were doing everything, possibly even opening up to this person where this person didn't say anything in return. This person's already viewing you as doing all of the work. And now it's up to them to bring some balance. Now it's up to them to bring some fairness to the game. It's their turn now. Their turn. You've already done what she's supposed to. So just sit pretty. Just sit pretty. The universe is handling the rest. The universe is stepping in and getting your person to act. Otherwise, this is going to be a missed opportunity. So the favorite part of the reading is my clarification. So let's, let's clarify, shall we? Hold on for a second. My throat is getting scratchy. All right. Why is the Six of Pentacles the overall energy for a Pisces person? Please hit like and subscribe. I will love you forever. I already do, but still. Why is the Six of Pentacles the overall energy? Well, hot damn. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles is the overall energy because of the Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Really? And the Four of, Pe four of uh, Cups on the bottom. Cancer energy. I'm getting the energy that this person kind of ignored any offer you presented them. Okay, even though they wanted it, which is really odd. Someone was possibly going through some sort of mild depression, maybe, because that image of that card screams, I don't want to deal with anything right now except for my stability. Because fours represent stability. Because I'm getting a heavy energy that your person was just throwing themselves into their work with that King of Pentacles, and they weren't entertaining your offer. They weren't emotionally uh, stable yet, so they may have gone through a recent divorce or a recent breakup, all right? But the cards that came out are the Queen of Cups. This is screaming, I love Pisces. I do. I have feelings for Pisces. Even if you're not at the I love you stage and you're too new, this is screaming, I'm developing feelings for Pisces. I get the connection. I understand it. I'm feeling it in my body that there's something special about my connection to Pisces, all right? But at the same time, they may have left you feeling out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. And this could also be telling me that your person's money wasn't right, so that's why they were throwing themselves into their work. Because the Five of Pentacles can also mean, my money's not good right now. I can't focus on this love connection until my shit is together. I'm not going to come to you with no offer. I'm not going to accept no offer until my money is right. What, how am I going to take you on a date? How am I going to offer you anything? Am I just going to take from you, take from you, take from you? And that's possibly why the Six of Pentacles is the overall energy. They may have been taken from you and they don't want to do it anymore. They feel bad. So you could have been the one that was paying for all the dates. You could have been the one that was, you know, buying them all the gifts because they didn't have their money right. This person doesn't want to do that. They want to make it fair. They want to possibly either go Dutch or they want to actually pay for something for a change. This person's really insecure about that. So you could have been left out in the cold. You could have been abandoned for a while with the Five of Pentacles because this person wanted to get their money straight. All right? Because, again, Four of Cups is about stability, emotional stability, but also could be financial stability with all these earth energies here. So even though they knew that you were a solid opportunity, they didn't acknowledge it because they weren't ready. 
I mean, look. Look at this image. There's dancing lobsters behind that cat, and the cat's not even looking up, even though cats love lobsters. Which tells me that this person loves you or has emotions for you, but even what they want isn't good enough right now because they don't feel right. Okay? And then look, we have the two of cups on the bottom of that. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This person knows you are connected to them. They know it. They know it and they know it. But it doesn't help when they don't feel right about themselves. They want to get right. Okay? Because I have Hermit here. Virgo energy. Your person has possibly gone withdrawn to soul search. To understand what they want in their life. Or how to figure out their situation and take care of it. It's like going deep within. Locking yourself in the bedroom door and going, what should I do for my career? I, my money's not right. I've got to do something. Should I get a second job? Should I get a third job? Should I go back to school? Should I get a certification in something? It's that energy. And then this person's also thinking, all right, I got Pisces here. What am I going to do with Pisces? Pisces is being very generous to me. Pisces is doing all the work. What do I do? What do I do? That's your person. And then Ten of Pentacles is what they are wanting to achieve. They're wanting abundance, whether it's finances or a committed energy. They want abundance. And that's exactly what's on their mind. It's connecting, you guys. It's connecting. The King of Pentacles wants the Ten of Pentacles. It's all they ever think about. They want the commitment. They want the white picket fence. They want the 401k. They want the health insurance policy. They want their family taken care of. They want to take their family on vacations. Your person wants to get their money right because they don't want to offer you shit. This person has respect for you and they don't want to just have you taking care of everything. All right? Because the Queen of Cups would not show up in this reading for your person's energy if they didn't give a damn about you. There's, the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Emotions. You represent the King of Emotions, the King of Cups. This person is coming up as your equal, the Queen of Cups. Okay? The Queen of Feeling. But sometimes the Queen of Cups is very sensitive about their emotions and they'll go into their crab shell, all right? And where they're heart inside that shell and just put on a front that they are all about business, okay? You could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Cancer with a Taurus rising or Taurus moon, a Cancer with a Libra moon, Taurus rising, all right? Because I got heavy Cancer here and I got your energy, all right? So now that we got the overall energy understood, all right, the overall energy is definitely, I don't feel like I've been doing enough for Pisces. Pisces is doing a lot for me. I need to get my act ready. I need to either get my money right or my heart right. And right now, I just can't entertain Pisces at this moment because I'm not there yet. All right, so why is the Queen of Wands and this person's feelings towards Pisces? Why is the Queen of Wands and this person's feelings towards Pisces? Could be dealing with a fire sign. Some of you guys could have either a black cat a beautiful white dog or a white cat, all right? I'm seeing that predominantly in here. And also a orange one that kind of reminds me of my childhood cat cinnamon. <laughs> so why is the Queen of Wands in their current feelings towards Pisces? <gasps> the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. Taurus Libra Energy. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, by the way. This person is going through some sort of ending. Okay, maybe they lost their job. Maybe they're going through a breakup. Maybe they're going through some sort of loss of their confidence. All right, there's something about divine timing here. Something about divine timing. When the Wheel of Fortune shows up, that screams something needs to be at the right time because this is destined. All right, this is, um, this is the energy of universe stepping in when things are going too slow and they step in in your favor. The universe is stepping in and it's going to turn in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody wants this, but they're going through something right now. But they do want to nurture you. Taurus, Libra, Energy. They do want to nurture you. They just, they don't have anything to give you right now. But divine, divine timing is saying that something's coming in. And whenever I get the Wheel of Fortune, that tells me that whoever you're connecting to, Pisces, is going to be in your life during a very um, big event. Because when you're connecting with a soulmate with the Wheel of Fortune energy, that usually signifies whoever this person is, they're going to be a part of something significant in your life. Whether it's uh, having your first baby or a third baby, whether it's getting married to someone, whether it's inheriting a lot of money, with, whether it's getting the lottery, it's something big. 
or this person is going to come in your life just when you need someone the most. It's kind of like those energies that come in right before, you know, a car is about to hit you and they push you out of the way and save your life. Or they're the ones that are around when you have some sort of allergic reaction and they're, they're the ones that dig through your purse to get your EpiPen. That's this Wheel of Fortune event. Something significant is going to go down with you and this person, okay? They're, they're significant in your life. But you're going to have to wait a little bit with that hangman energy, Pisces energy. Or see the situation in a different perspective. I'm getting big energy of you've already done everything you can possibly do now. Now it's just waiting on them to take the next step. And I don't recommend waiting, waiting. That's not what I'm saying here, you guys. What I'm saying is you've already done what you needed to do. If you do anything else, it might push them away, okay? I'm not saying to wait on anybody because that's, no. Never wait on anyone. Do your own thing while they work on themselves. And if they show up and you still are available, great. If not, you're doing your own thing. Never wait on anyone. That's not what I'm saying here. All right, so... There might be some exciting news coming in, possibly from a younger fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So let's just jump to that King of Pentacles. Well, I'm making this a long ass reading. Why is the King of Pentacles on their mind? Why is the King of Pentacles on their mind? Why is the King of Pentacles on their mind? Oh my goodness, because the lovers in the judgment. Hello, Major Arcanas. I told you. This person's not something is insignificant. This person is big and pivotal in your life. The lovers is Gemini energy, and this is another confirmation that this person you're dealing with is a soulmate. Some readers will call it the twin flame card, but I'm just going to leave that at that. But there is some sort of big decision that this person needs to make with the judgment. The judgment comes in when someone needs to shit or get out the pot. It's now or never. Make a decision already. It's that energy. And if you've already dealt with this person, this could be an energy of, please forgive me, or can we have a second chance, or is there a room for a reconciliation? Take it however it resonates. But I'm definitely getting an energy of someone finally making a decision, finally reuniting or uniting as a union with that energy. After waiting for so long with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And whenever the Seven of Pentacles comes in, that screams, you're not waiting in vain. Someone wants to work with you and you could have met this person at work or something big about work is really covering this energy. Your person's working hard. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So why is justice and the actions that this person wants to take? Well, hello, Queen, the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. What did I say earlier about the Justice card? I said they want to bring balance. They want to bring fairness. They want to level it up. And now I'm getting the Ace of Swords, which is all about a new idea, a revelation, an aha moment, a conversation that is showing someone their authentic side. Someone wants to be truthful to you. Someone wants to bring truth because the Queen of Swords will cut out a bitch if they don't bring truth. I feel like this is you getting ready to walk away from this person if they don't come to you with the truth. All right? Or you're dealing with an air sign who's ready to speak their truth. Okay? It's a very intelligent energy. A very witty energy too after ignoring someone's offer with the four of cups so why is that three of wands and pisces advice damn i hope my battery will accommodate this length of a video don't tell all the other zodiacs i gave you such a long reading <laughs> why is the three of wands the advice whoa <gasps> what did i say what did i say earlier i said You've already done the work, now it's just waiting for this person. And I said over here that you're gonna get an exciting message from a Page of Wands energy. And now I got the Page of Wands again. There is an energy or a text message, a phone call, a social media message, a DM. Someone's coming in with some exciting news with the Page of Wands and it's going to lead to a new opportunity with the Ace of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries, with the Hierophant on the bottom, Taurus energy. This could be someone finally stepping up and saying, I want a long-term commitment with you. Or someone's getting advice from a mother figure or a boss or, you know, a church pastor, someone that they trust, possibly a grandmother with that Hierophant energy. All right, someone's coming in with some exciting news and it's going to lead to a new opportunity, a passionate one. Could be a heavy fire sign energy here. So someone's coming in and they're using their strength. They're finding their courage to step up with the strength. Leo energy. Boom. Now let's get some romance angel cards. I know you guys like to hear the zodiac signs, but don't focus on the zodiac sign. It's all about the energy, but I will name the heavy hitters I'm seeing here. Heavy, heavy Leo. Heavy Taurus. Gemini. We have Aries. We have Aquarius. We have Libra. We have Capricorn. We have Pisces. We have um, 
Scorpio. So, again, don't focus on the zodiacs. And we have Virgo, but it could be anybody. So, what is the three messages that Pisces needs to hear? In the extended, I will dig deeper into a person's true feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. And I'll also get three romance angels for their point of view. But right now, this is your point of view. Two more, please. Please hit like and subscribe. I freaking love you guys. I have so many Pisces in my family, and you guys are just so freaking sweet and loving. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's what I was saying with the Three of Wands. You've already done everything you need to. Just live in the moment. Do your own thing. Love yourself. Walk around feeling abundant. Feeling like you already have everything you could possibly need, and that this person coming in will just be an added bonus. All right? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Be positive, Pisces. Sometimes Pisces can get a little bit in their head. At least the ones in my family, they they overthink things and they, they always see the negative sometimes and it talks them out of some big life changes. Try and stay positive. Go hook up with a Leo for a night to get some of their positive energy. <laughs> Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You guys have been separated for a minute, I feel like, and you're waiting for them. That's why that three of wands is here. You're not talking to this person. This person's in their money. They're, this person's in their money. All right? But some of you guys also might not want to wait any longer and just be like, nope, I'm moving on. And deception is in reverse. I don't do reversals, but if it flips out like that, I've got to read it like that. But we can do it both ways. It says, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Someone hasn't been authentic with you, which we already know by bringing up the Ace of Swords earlier. Someone's finally coming in to be authentic with you about how they truly feel and what they truly want. All right? But someone also might be holding back and still keeping things to themselves moving forward based on the reversal. I hope this helped. If this resonated, Pisces, the link to the extended is down below where I'll just dig a little bit deeper into your person as this is already a full reading. Um, and if this is where I leave you, please hit like, please hit subscribe, share with your neighbors, your dogs, your cats, all your Pisces friends, and I friggin' love you. And if you want a personal reading, the link is down below, bestintuitivetarot.com, and if it gives you any issues on the website, email me. Love you. Bye.